Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another break here on Grace Lee's Cards. Um, today we're going to open up uh, one blaster box of 2017 Panini Chronicles. Um, I don't have a lot of money, so I can't kind of go out and buy multiples of these products um, or multiples of anything. Um, so this box cost me about $35 to get. Um, I bought it at my local card shop, which was nice that they had some kind of blaster thing because at that card shop, it seemed to be somewhat expensive just for anything. Um, I went online and checked on eBay, saw that these were also priced on eBay for 35. So I thought I'd pick one up. I've never opened 2017 Chronicles. I have opened 2020 Chronicles, um, which is really nice product. Um, so it's going to be a short video here. Um, there's four packs, I believe, in this box. Um, it looks like there's a blaster exclusive of one absolute rookie blue in every box on average. So hopefully that means that we get one. Um, I know that sometimes when they say on average, you don't get something. I think the rookies we're looking for in here would be, um, Aaron Judge, Cody Bellinger, um, Bregman. I'm not sure if those are in there. I haven't done any research on this product or anything. I said, oh, cool. Chronicles. This looks like fun. Um, because I do like Chronicles because of all the different kinds of um, cards you get in it. Um, so it'll be a quick break. Um, just for, I was able to pick up some Topps Update Chrome um, at my local Target, which was surprising because, you know, cards have been difficult to find. So uh, next week we should have a video of uh, Topps Update Chrome, and I have um, three blaster boxes of that. I'm not sure if I'm going to open all three uh, right away or if I'm going to space them out or maybe even just save one or two of them. I'm not too sure. Um, but so let's get this one going here. Um, yeah, very surprised to see, uh, they had lots of stuff at my target. They must've just stocked, um, they had, uh, Topps Chrome update, the blue and white boxes, which I had to Google myself to see what's the difference. Uh, and it turns out the difference is just the color of the box. Um, and they had some Topps Update hanger boxes, and, and I've opened enough Topps Update. I'm sure most people have by this point. Um, it's just kind of the one thing that you can find typically. I've also gotten lucky, and I found, uh, well, I don't know if you want to say lucky, but I found some Topps Heritage season, uh, Series 1 at my local Big Lots, um, which I was able to get some some things there. Um, and Topps Heritage season or Series 1 isn't isn't my favorite. Um, it has the nice rookies, but other than that, you're not going to get much of anything else in there. Um, which, and I, and I already have kind of all the good rookies. I have their Arizarina and uh, Jordan. Um, I was lucky to get a uh, Luis Robert out of Series 2. I opened one pack of, Her of Heritage High Number and got the Luis Robert, so I'm set with Heritage for the year. Um, all right, so uh, four packs. Um, don't know much about this, so um, I guess we'll just kind of get ripping. Um, but yeah, I really like. Oh boy, it's stuck here. I was surprised to see something like this at my local card shop. I was I was a little surprised just to see the variety of stuff he had there. Um, a lot of it was overpriced, um, but uh, you know I was able to get something. So here we go. So all these cards are going to kind of be different designs, um, which is my favorite thing about Chronicles. So right away we have a, a Robbie Ray, a Corey Dickerson, of course, maybe they'll all be the same. Ryan Braun, D. Gordon, ooh, and I have a nice Ken Griffey Jr. prism. I like that one. So no rookies, but we're gonna put that down there. Let that thing shine on our screen here. I, I, like I said, didn't do any research on this product. So maybe they all, maybe they all look like this. I, I have no idea. Um, typically Chronicles has all these different kinds. Oh, we got a little bit of something here. Let's see here. All right. So, okay. So maybe it's just kind of, they have these and they have some extra little things. So we have Dexter Fowler, Josh Harrison, Gene Carlo. Oh boy. Hey, look at that and we got a Cody Bellinger right there a nice prism wave I'll take that and we got a Josh Hader rookie card which again I didn't know that was in here um so already feeling pretty good about the $35 I spent on that with that Cody B um getting that card that's pretty sweet looking um 
yeah, really nice stuff. Um, some big things kind of happening in the Orioles world. They're signed uh, King Felix, which I was pretty pleased about. Um, I'm thinking that they're thinking he's going to be a good trading chip um, for them when the time comes. Um, but we'll see what happens. A Mitch Hanniger rookie. I didn't know he was a 2017 rookie. Um... Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I, I'm just happy that the Orioles have somebody on their team that I can kind of be interested in. Um, you know, there's, there's, it's just been tough <laughs> to be an Orioles fan the past couple years. Um, but King Felix is good, and I think it's a minor league deal. You know, it's nothing anything crazy. Um, I don't know if they're going to go out and get anybody else, but... We'll see. All right, last pack here. We're already kind of coming to the end here. Not too bad, I would say. The haul, not too bad. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy about the stuff that's come out of this so far. I don't think it was a waste of 35, so that's good. There's a blue Mike Moustakis numbered at a 399 there. And let's see, we have a Matt Olson as our last card. No, no hits, but I think that Cody Bellinger is probably going to be the best thing here. Um, let me just see if I rearrange these a little bit of what I think is the best here. So we'll see. Cody B on top. I'm probably going to put the Griffey second because I like Griffey. Um, we'll go with the numbered card. Um, probably something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah. So that was a pretty cool, fast little break. Um, uh, please stay tuned next week. We'll open up some Topps Chrome Update. Um, and, uh, we'll go from there. Have a good one, everyone.